can't remember uh, what AP Bio uh, means. Soon, everything educational will be destroyed thanks to Dr. Dropout! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, Dr. Dropout. There'll be no brain drains on my watch. <laughs> Your nerd powers won't work on me, Psionic Steve. I removed my brain long ago. I won't be the only brainless moron in this school once I dip everyone in my patented stupid goop. <laughs> Zooks! I gotta save them! But I can't do it when I'm dressed as a mild-mannered everyday coop! This looks like a job for... Super Coop! Super Coop, my favorite protege! You are here to save us all! Per usual, ha-ha! I am speaking to you using my telepathic powers! Psionic Steve, my very close personal friend! I can hear you using my telepathic powers! Listen, Coop, you must stop Dr. Dropout's many droogs from destroying education. But first, you need to use your super walking powers to reach them. I will walk you through the steps of this walking walkthrough with you. Walk this way. Slightly to the left. Hurry, Super Coop! Dr. Dropout will be done for before the day is done. All in a day's work. This will be a walk in the park. Ha 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 ha! Rightly so, my clever comedic companion. Now, onward to the gymnasium. Not so fast, Super Coop. One of Dr. Dropout's deadly droogs delays your destiny. If only there was a way to disable and dispose of that dastardly dum-dum. Direct your attention in his direction. Got him in my sight, Psionic Steve. Please, call me Steve on account of how close we are as friends. Sea dog Egad! He's beating the education out of that fellow student. If only there was a way to stop him. Perhaps a precarious punishment is perched in proximity to that perverse pillager. That would be super convenient. Please, peruse. Perceptively peruse. <laughs> Hooray! You never cease to amaze. Big ups to you, bud. But wait, look to the left. No time for a snack. There's crime to fight. Ain't no smarty brains getting in here, or they'll get their smart brains blown out. Yeah, dumb people only. Yeah, especially me, because I'm dumber. <laughs> yeah, but I'm stupider. That's why the boss likes me best. Oh, dang, that's fair. Ooh, I love the horses at the fair. Oh, yeah, and the cotton candies. <laughs> There stands a deadly duo whose arms are armed with deadly bullet dispensing danger. If only there was a way to disarm the armaments from their arms. Quickly, think. Time is of the essence. Coop, I just remembered your super lit backpack. All the guys covet, and all the girls love it. I think it is neat how you keep all the items you collect in it, like an inventory of sorts. So organized, so cool. Hey, thanks, Steve. It's my favorite. I wonder how you could possibly trap those terrible transgressors. Say, what do you keep in such a super cool backpack anyway? I have always wondered. Hey, get your gun off my gun. Uh-oh, our guns are in love. Let go! No, you! 
Wondrous work, Supercoop. You confounded those criminals with a culturally appropriate Confucian contraption of ancient Chinese confusion. Congrats! Now, to successfully open the gymnasium door and walk through it. You are so close. On it! Super Goop! We're saved! Soup Scoop. Well, 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 if it isn't Super Coop, which I'm pretty sure it is! S isn't it? You bet your brainless belfry, Dr. Dropout! Well, you'll lose that bet because I don't even know what a belfry is! And soon, neither will you! Once I've destroyed every book, every brain, and every school, you will be just another drooling dummy on this big flat earth. Just like me. The only thing flat on this earth will be your face once I'm done with you. Better get a move on. Your friends will be stupefied by then. Allow me to demonstrate. Coop, help me, man. Sorry for all the bullying, but you gotta, you gotta help me out. My favorite color is applesauce. Oh no! This is just the beginning, but enough talk! Have at you! You fools! Get him! Get him! Now's your chance, Super Coop! <laughs> Eat shit, Super Coop! You're too late! Hmm. Cannot break! Free! We will be doomed to dumbness in no time! Quickly, Coop! Drop some knowledge on Dr. Dropout! Knowledge is power! The less I know, the more powerful I become! Soon I'll be the most stupidest, most powerful being in the universe! Brilliant! You were not gobsmacked by his gobbledygook! Now get this goofy goon to graduation! Enjoy your student debt, Dr. Dropout! Ha-ha! <laughs> What's this? Congratulations, Dr. Dropout! You're now a high school graduate! And you're the valedictorian! Way to go! What? Now that's sticking it to him! No! This can't be possible! I don't want to be smart! A transformation of this magnitude to my cerebellum is only possible through- OH MY GOD! Wow, boss should sure look smart. But boss said we're supposed to destroy everything smart! Yeah, you're right. Let's get him! No! No, you dullards! Get them, not me! Cease your incessant locomotion! Stop! You saved us, Super Coop! Will you go to prom with me? You saved us all, Super Coop! Way to put your mind to it! Now you are my hero! Cooper? Is that you? Mom? Dad? I, I thought you were dead! Yes, Coop! We are dead! And we're so proud of you! Coop! 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 Cooper! Mr. McCarthy! Huh? What? Uh, yes, Mr. Murphy! Were you paying attention? Uh... What did I just say? Um, something about obtuse angles? Uh, right? Wrong! Everyone, point and laugh! <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 look what we have here. Uh, wait, give that back. What was that? Couldn't hear you, Cooper. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Do us a favor and try not to waste all of our time. You suck, Coop. Let's shove him into a locker, and then shove that locker up his ass! Now, now! Nobody chastise Coop until I've had a chance to chastise him first. What I was saying, if you'll be so kind as to join us, is the word of the day is exposition. As you all know, graduation is just around the corner, so today you'll all be filling out your career aptitude tests. These tests will help determine what careers you might excel at, if any. I did this test when I was in school, and look where it got me! Ginger, true or false, fill in the dots, yada yada. Just fill these out so we can all go home. Think you can handle that coop? Or is the fate of your future too boring? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. 
Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Pussy. Salad burn, Chet. Uh, Mr. Murphy? Will this affect any of our college applications? Maybe, maybe not. If you just fill it out honestly, you really won't have to worry about it. Now, will you, Sawyer? Ugh, come on. I already filled this out last year. I don't really have to do it again, do I? Yes, Kent, you do need to fill this out again. You think just because you were held back a grade that you get special privileges? Well, yeah. Hmm, you're right. You don't need to waste your time filling this out again. Just sit there and be handsome. And take off that crown. Thank you. All right, class. You know the drill. No talking, no cheating, no questions. Heads down. Just fill out the damn form and hand it in when you're done. Jesus Christ, Summer can't get here fast enough. Is Koop a total penis sexual? I'm gonna mark this one as true. <laughs> yeah. Wait, which one was that again? Hmm. Koop will make it to graduation alive? That's a false right there. <laughs> uh, eat a dick, Kent. I'll eat your dick, you gulch muncher! What have I told you about standing up for yourself, Poop Koop? That you'll color my eyeballs in with markers? Uh, again? That's right, Taint Tickler. Don't think for a second that you're safe just because school is almost over. Yeah, let's hold him down and tickle his taint for being so gay. What's all this ruckus? I said heads down! We're trying to concentrate on our aptitude test, and Coop won't stop hitting on us. Yeah, Coop, I told you. I'm not emotionally available to get into a physical relationship right now. Quit pressuring me, nut stump. No means no, Coop. Now quit being a creepy sex pest and finish your test! But... Yeah, and I totally saw Coop trying to copy off Chet's test, too. What? But he's the one cheating! For the last time, Coop, I don't care if Kent is cheating on you. He's a beautiful free bird that no one can chain down. Just look into those deep, gorgeous eyes of his. Now get your test done or else! Final warning! What a queefing, cheating, cheater queef. I'm gonna use the five-point palm exploding heart technique on your tiny balls if you don't stop copying off me! That is it, Mr. Cooper! Since you can't seem to let these precious students focus on their tasks without cheating or pressuring them into premarital intercourse, get your lecherous behind to the principal's office now! But... Right now, mister! Ha ha! Sayonara, dipshit dick turd! <sighs> Time to head to the principal's office. Down the hallway to the Red Door of Doom. Come on in, Coop. Have a seat. We both know why you're here. Wait, why are you here? I'm in trouble? You're darn right you're in trouble. I heard you were cheating on a test while sexually pressuring other students, including our beloved Kent. That's not true! Kent set me up! Oh, sure, I've heard it all before. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's so many things wrong with you. Where to begin? It's lecture time, Coop. Do you want to hear the long version or the short version? Uh, the long version, I guess? Tell me, Coop, what are your goals? How do you plan to score them? What would make you win the big game called life? Uh, I guess I've always wanted to help people. Help people with their troubles and problems. You know, kind of like a superhero. Like Psionic Steve. And how's that working out for you? Uh, well, most people I try to help really wish I didn't. Doesn't sound like any superhero I've heard of. What kind of hero cheats on tests? What kind of champion gets his head shoved into a urinal every day? And no prom date? Pathetic! Even I have a prom date, and I'm not even allowed to. You know, anyone who's anyone has a prom date. People keep saying that. Keep it up and it's no hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter for Coop. And no prom. 
You'll be warming the bench, hitting the showers. Three strikes means you struck out. Game over, Coop. Game over! You'll leave high school forever remembered as the guy who didn't score a touchdown, the weirdo who didn't have a prom date, the freak that didn't help anyone. Is that the kind of superhero you want to be? A super freak? No, sir. It's just hard to focus on my goals, or er, scoring goals, when I'm tormented by bullies every day. It's hard to focus when my teacher shoots spit wads into my mouth whenever I yawn, or when Kent posts my internet search history on billboards all over town. Life is going to test you, Coop. You have to keep your eye on the ball. We're all balls in the same bag, Coop. You have to be a team player, like a sports team. Keep your eye on the ball and the other eye on the prize. Help the team cross the finish line and score a touchdown. You could pass or you could go for that three-pointer, but that wouldn't make you a team player. And if you don't pass, you fail. Not to put you down, but are you picking up what I'm putting down? I'm really not great with the uh, sports examples. It's a simile, Coop, like a metaphor with more likes. I want you to like your life. I want you to like, share, and subscribe to your own future. Are we on the same page? Speaking of pages, Coop, I'm adding this recent trouble to your permanent record. Dear God, this is worse than I thought. This permanent record here? This is a loser's permanent record. Losers stay losers permanently. Only a loser would have this many strikes on his record. And losers don't get to go on the hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter. Here I go, clicking my pen, the pen I'm using to mark this down on your permanent record to make you a permanent loser, permanently, with permanent ink. Please don't, I it won't happen again. I I'm sorry I've been acting up lately. I guess I have been feeling pretty directionless. I don't really have much of a positive role model in my life. I mean, there's Psionic Steve, but he's a... Uh... He's not exactly real. I really could use someone real to talk to, you know? I, I guess I... What's this? A distracting phone call? Hello? Don't you know I'm in the middle of leaving a red mark on a kid's future? Permanently? What's that? <gasps> Stacy broke her pelvis during the splits! That means there's an opening on the cheer squad! My time to shine! I'll be right there! Go Narwhals! I'll deal with your permanent record later. I have to go do something that's far more important than fixing your life. Now sit here and think of every word I've said and don't look at, touch, or talk to a single thing. my permanent record before Principal McNally sees it, or he'll never let me go on that field trip. Score! Free office supplies! A ninja. Okay, now I better go fetch the permission slip for the hashtag epic field trip to the bomb shelter from my locker. If I can get it signed, I can go on the trip, get closer to Sawyer, and finally be safe from bullies and bombs. <laughs> Simple enough, you just gotta grab a holly pass. But you're not gonna get one without a damn good reason, though, so don't get your hopes up, Buster. Holly pass? Don't you mean hall pass? No, they changed it on account of how great I am at this job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. Yes, huh? Nuh-uh. Yes, huh, times a million. Damn, she has more yes, huhs than me. You win this round. Ugh, Holly's been riding my ass since day one. I gotta find somebody who can help me make a fake hall pass. Then I can wander around freely without her constantly breathing down my neck. Hey, uh, guys? Would you mind, uh, stepping aside so I can get into my locker? Uh, excuse me. 
Yeah, that's a good feeling. Hey, hello? Mm, I like that. Mm. <laughs> you know, this is actually starting to turn me on. Shut! He's really creeping me out. You perverted little shit! I'm trying to suck face with my babe! I just can't help it. It's like watching two earthworms sumo wrestle. I just want to stare harder. That's it! I can't do this here! There's a great spot under the bleachers outside where we can continue our mega makeout session. Totally. But first... Hey, everyone! Coop's a pervert who likes to watch us make out! <laughs> I guess everyone finding me creepy still has its perks. Damn it! It's jammed shut from all the times I was smashed into it by bullies. I could pop it open if I had a pencil. Murphy? I'm gonna try to repress this from my memory. Bye. You're coming with me, my groovy graphite companion. My dumbest idea. Sweet! It's nice to know pencils still have a use in modern times. I'll have Grandma sign this later so I can go on the school field trip to the bomb shelter. Hey guys, better be careful. The hall monitor's on a tear out there. Psh, we ain't afraid of no stupid hall monitor. We make our own hall passes, cause we're so cool. Uh, okay. C can you make me one? Only if you do something for us. What is it? Don't tell me it's using my face for punching practice again. <laughs> Not this time, but we'll keep it in mind. Don't want to get rusty. Get us the ingredients to make some school hooch. A.K. Scooch, A.K. the Devil's Backwash, A.K. Toilet Wine. We like to get drunk before a dare class. You mean that alcohol that prisoners make in the toilet? Gross. What are the ingredients? All right, here's a list of what we need. Fetch us what's on the list like a good little loser, and we'll get to your hall pass. Don't share the list around, though. It's my mom's secret recipe. Hurry up and get us the shit we need, man. Old fruit, yeast, a plastic bag, and some sugar. Or are you here for more punching practice? <laughs> uh, no thanks. I've had plenty of practice being punched. I'm actually pretty good at it. Then make yourself a moving target and get out of here! Yeah, make like a toilet and go find our stuff. Dude, that doesn't even make sense! Quit being lame or you're gonna lose your leather privileges! Sweet! Now I can look like a bona fide cool boy, too. <laughs> I've had to do my fair share of awful tasks, but getting yeast from the girls' bathroom is now right at the top of that list. Thanks for that. <laughs> Oh, sweet! A med kit! I'll keep this around in case I get any critical wounds! <laughs> hey, uh, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! And, like, I'll never be okay! Same here. Scoot over. I'll join you. Um, like, why are you, like, talking to me? It's all right. 
I cry when I poop too. It's not all right, and I'm not pooping. God, I'm like just such a loser. Prom is only like a few weeks away, and not a single person has asked me to like be their date. Anybody who's anybody already has a prom date, so I guess I'm like a total nobody. Hey, I've been a total nobody for a really long time, and it's not that bad. Is that like supposed to make me feel better? Hey, look on the bright side. It can't get any worse. <laughs> You're like not helping. Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> I'll take that as a maybe. I can't believe, like, no suitable person will, like, go to prom with me. I'm, like, such a loser. Hey, over here. Four and a half feet of handsome. Right in front of you. No, Coop. I'm, like, sad. Not desperate. I want to go to prom with Jake. I want to be his little anchovy chip. I told him that in the note I wrote and put in his lunch. Oh, God. God, like, I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> All I heard was like, so what time are you picking me up? Maybe there's a sleeping beauty somewhere that'll be my prom date. <laughs> Grabbing a plastic bag from the trash. I feel like I just saw a glimpse into my future. Sugar, everything a growing kid and future diabetic needs. say like a little bitch i guess you aren't as pathetic as you look uh thanks yeah we have your stupid hall pass ready and if you tell anyone you got it from us we'll cut you so many times you'll be begging for a stab uh i won't i promise <laughs> own fake hall pass finally freedom at my fingertips let's see holly try to stop me now check it out i got a hall pass ka-ching in your face holly i don't know how you did it but enjoy this victory it won't last you may have won the battle but the war is far from over son just be happy for me, goddammit! If I don't frown, I've let my guard down! Fine! Have fun watching this free butt walk around freely! Now step aside! So be it! I'll get you next time! NEXT TIME! By the way, I saw some kids cutting class in the hallway over there. Duty calls! In these halls! Enough already! Hey, Coop! Over here! How's it going? Lousy. Uh, wanna talk about it? Uh, 
I'm trying to hand out these flyers to help spread awareness about how underfunded the school is and how stupid all of these students are as a result. Not to mention my big story about the shady backdoor government funding deals that are totally going on here. That, uh, sounds pretty serious. It is! Unfortunately, nobody seems to give a damn. I only got one person to take a flyer today, and he only took it because the boy's bathroom was out of toilet paper. Sheep! They're all sheep! Well, what if I help get some more eyes on your flyers? That's awfully sweet of you, Coop. No offense, but the only thing people here seem to care about less than my flyers is you. None taken. And I know, but let me try. You've always been nice to me, so allow me to repay the favor. Besides, what have you got to lose? More flyers that nobody's willing to take? All right, fine. Here's a USB drive with the flyers on it. You'll need to make more copies. You could try using the secretary's printer. The library's printer got stolen. Maybe you can at least post them where people will accidentally look at them. I'll get right on it. Oh, and uh, try not to make anybody's life worse in the process. You know how you can be. I'll do my damnedest. No promises. Aw, oh, shucks. I appreciate it. Thanks, Duder. I better go find something to plug this USB thumb drive into. Printers for staff only, Cooper. Look out! There's a three-headed orangutan behind you! Nice try, dear, but that gag's older than me. Come on! Can I please use the printer? You know what? I guess I can let you. Oh my god! Look behind you! It's a three-headed orangutan! Ah! Where is it? Ha ha ha, gotcha. God damn it! What are you guys in for? This narc keeps saying I beat him, which is true, but don't go around narking about it. You call that a beating? You're lucky we're in the principal's office, or else I'd show you what a beating is. Will you both go to prom with me? I'm busy that night, but his schedule is wide open to go to prom with you. Nuh-uh. I know for a fact he ain't busy, and he'd be honored to take you, Coop. In fact, he's already picked out a suit. It's Paisley. You'll love it. I already said no, dickbag. You take him. No fucking way. Okay, then. At least we settled that without hurting anyone's feelings. You obviously hate each other. Why do you even hang out? Because he's my best friend. Even though he hurts me. Dude, that's how relationships are supposed to work. No, it's not. We're supposed to use our words. Guys, maybe you should... Shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up Coop. Coop! Can you believe this fucking kid? I know, right? He thinks he's fucking Dr. Phil or some shit, huh? <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry I haven't been the best about expressing my feelings. I guess my anger just manifests itself in violence because that's the only thing I've seen my parents do. But together, I think maybe we can learn to break the cycle. Yeah, you're right. I could have been more receptive to your positive behavior, and not just your violent behavior. I know that when I lash out, it exacerbates emotions. And when tempers get to that next level, I tend to lose my cool and open up to authority figures, instead of you. See? Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up, Coop! I love you almost as much as I hate Coop's dumbass suggestions. Aww, I love the way you hate him. Ooh, this is even steamier than the romance novels on my e-reader. Damn, I must have inserted it the wrong way. Why does that always happen with USB drives? Better try again. Uh, I guess I must have had it right the first time? Gah! Okay, let's give it one more try. Damn it! I hate technology! 
technology. <sighs> oh well, at least the copies are printed. Copy that. Okay, now that I have these flyers, I just need to find three good spots in school to hang them up. That's a damn good spot for a flyer, if I do say so myself, and I do. Loads of people in here, so someone's bound to see this. Let's be honest, Sawyer's flyer looks way better than any of this art anyway, so I did them a favor. There we go! Sawyer's definitely gonna think of me as her best friend now. Well, hopefully. those flyers up. I'm sure some of these idiots will accidentally see it. I hope so. Thanks for that. Oh, by the way, you should go talk to the librarian. I saw her cracking her knuckles and swearing vengeance on you. Something about an overdue book? Yeesh. I already have enough people threatening my life as it is. Thanks for the heads up. I'll go talk to her. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Please, I... Ah, Mr. McCarthy. Just the person I wanted to see. That doesn't sound good. How observant of you. The thing is, little bitch. Can I call you little bitch? I'd prefer you didn't. The thing is, little bitch, you owe the library some debt. Does 99 ways to make friends. Psionic Steve versus the Bronze Brain, or Where Are My Pubes? A Guide to Late Bloomers. Sound familiar? Uh, isn't there some sort of confidentiality rule or something? I know you have them, Cooper. The library knows everything! It's okay. I, I could just run home and get them. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Not with regular unbeaten knees, anyway. Not my knees! Those are my favorite knees! Lucky for you. I have a little deal to offer. Either we take your overdue book debt out on your little bitch knees, or you can do us a favor on the down low. We're missing a very important carpentry book, first edition. Bring it back to me and I might let you live. Hell, I'll even throw in a little something extra for scratching our back. How does that sound? Sounds like I don't have a choice. You don't. Now get moving while you still can walk. Uh, okay, since it's not in the library, where the hell could I possibly find a missing carpentry book? Ah, uh, you missed a spot. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm slacking. Say, can I borrow your keys? My, my keys? Well, what do you need them for? Oh. Uh, I was going to key the car of your soon-to-be ex-wife's date. Oh, that's awfully sweet you, little buddy. The thing is, they're not on me, and I can't remember where I left them. I could have left them in one of my crying spots, like the faculty lounge or the boiler room, so maybe check those places. Okay, I'll check those out, and maybe give those crying spots a test drive. Oh, trust me, they're the best darn crying spots in the whole school. Well, good luck out there. 
Oh, if luck be a lady, she would have left me too. Oh, Beverly. It's a missing carpentry book. Hmm, my arms look like a baby's legs, so no chance I can lift it. If only there was a way to hoist the desk. Okay, so it moves the chain up and down. For leverage, maybe? Sweet! A box cutter! It's like the switchblade of office supplies. Wonderful! Now I can dress up as a sexy nurse. Hey, big boy. Uh, turn your head and cough. Damn, the door's locked. I've always wondered what creepy stuff the janitor keeps in there. So, I saw Lance's car parked outside of your place last night. Shh, keep your voice down. Did you guys, you know? Yeah, dude. Oh my god. What was it like? Dude, you just blow as hard as you can until he's done, and then it sucks back into their body. Ugh, dudes are gross. Dude, I know. Nobody will miss this portion of the rope. Who knows? Maybe I'll need to lift a piano or something. Does this mean I'm on the team now? Hooray! the mysteries of the janitor's closet. An entire room full of new inanimate objects to talk to. All right, it worked. Now I can stand in a tiny cramped room full of chemicals. It's a good thing I found this pulley. Now I can hoist heavy things, like a big boy. <laughs> Combining a rope and pulley? Genius! How do I come up with these great ideas? Damn, I've got surprisingly good aim. Okay, that's more secure than I'll ever be. I'm not gonna question the physics of what just happened. I'm just glad it worked. Finally, I have the carpentry book. I better return this to the librarian before she breaks my little bitch knees.
Hey, uh, I found that missing book you were looking for. You stole it, didn't you? Admit it! Admit it! What? No! I found it under a table in the shop class. Shh. Ah, the shop class! That explains it! All the students in there should be executed now! It'll spare me from having to put my tax dollars towards housing them in prison later down the road! Uh, yeah. So, can I get my reward now? Reward? What reward? You said if I scratched your back by recovering that book, you'd give me something. That doesn't sound like something I'd say, and I don't want your grubby little fingers scratching my back. However, you did bring back that book, so here's a coupon for one free Rod's Thick Cheese Pizza. I hope you choke on it. Wow, thanks! This is actually really nice, and I totally appreciate... Shh. <laughs> I'm done. Eat shit, obligations. Now I can finally get out of this godforsaken school and score some free pizza. One slice of free pizza, please. Nice try, kid. But nobody gets a shot at Rod's thickness without tossing his salad in the back first. You have salads here? Mmm, no. As luck would have it, I actually have a coupon for a free pizza. A free pizza? You sure that coupon isn't expired? There's no expiration on it. Damn. Wish I could say the same about my condoms. Your what? Uh, my condiments. So, can I get that free cheese pizza? All right, why the hell not? Just don't go telling your friends I'm giving away free pizzas. Unless, of course, they're barely legal females. Then you can send them my way. Deal? Uh, deal. Right on. Here you go, kid. Enjoy my thick pizza. Wish you wouldn't say it like that, but thanks. Ah, a lovely cheese pizza. Just for me. I guess today wasn't all bad. Time to head back home and scarf it down. Well, 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 look who it is! Put me down! Leave me alone! Uh, at least he brought us some pizza! Come on, guys! That's my lunch! And dinner! Relax, Pipsqueak. We saved you some. Extra, extra, read all about it! Today's top story, you fuckers are douchebags! Hey! These claims are unsubstantiated! Don't you have anything better to do than push around, Coop? Oh, bite it, Sawyer! Just get out of the way so I can kick the shit out of this shrimp! Kick the shit out of him, huh? You mean like the time you kicked the shit out of your pant leg, Chet? Uh... You did what? Babe, babe, no, I was sick You're and... fucking gross! Oh my god! I have to go shower! It was Ew! just a little nugget! Oh, don't oh, touch babe, me! Oh, babe, don't be like that! Well... That was gross. Anyway, my lovely Sawyer, now that we're alone... 
Uh, hey, third party, right in front of you. Shut the fuck up, Smegma Breath. Now that we're alone, I've been meaning to ask, do you have a date for prom? I'd like a girl who has dirt on everyone. That chance, Kent. I'll be at prom, but strictly as a reporter. I can see the headline already. Kent not awarded prom king, cries for 72 hours straight, and dies a dehydrated husk. That's what you think. The school isn't letting anyone go stag. Damn it! No stag attendees? What is this, some kind of breeding camp? Face it, Sawyer. The only way into the dance is to give in to your desires. Take my hand and say yes. Will you be my prom queen? Actually, I'm going with Coop. Coop? You fucking serious? Uh, me? Really? <laughs> oh, I get it. You're playing hard to get to entice the big dog. Well, woof woof. It's smart. You gotta play games to win a five-time king like me. Uh... Meow. Looks like this cat has claws. Let the games begin. I'll pick out a nice slow song for us to dance closely to when you go with me to prom. Cause if you go with Coop, I'd have to kill him. <laughs> Wasn't that your bike? Oh yeah. Shit. How'd you know I didn't have a date? Um, call it a hunch. I didn't even know you liked me. Aw, of course I like you, little buddy. You're my favorite neighbor. And anyway, did you see how pissed off Kent was? That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna murder me. Don't worry about that snooty prick. You gotta stick up for yourself, Coop. They won't pick on you if you fight back. You think? Cause last week I tweeted, Kent can sometimes be impolite, and he responded by swatting my house. Oh, I heard about that. Sorry about your dog. I miss Scooter. Yeah, well, you're on your own tomorrow, pal. I'm gone all day on a field trip. Stay strong, brother. Fight the power. Later, Coop. Cool, yeah. Damn the man, and so on. I am so screwed. Ah, Coop! You're home! Hey, Graham. You sure are full of life today. I've had such a wonderful day. I got some groceries, finished my Kegel exercises, and guess what? Your grandma has a date this week. <sighs> That's great, Grandma. My, my, my! You sure are devoid of life today. Tough day at school again? <sighs> yeah. Was it those bullies? Your old grandma can roll up her sleeves and knock some heads together! Please don't. Last time you helped, you only made it worse. Now they just say, Better call your grandma to come save you, pussy, while they punch me even harder. What? Are you ashamed of your old grandma? No, Graham, it's just... <sighs> Have you ever heard the phrase, adding insult to injury? Oh, sure, I've heard lots of phrases. Like, no matter how flat you make a pancake, it always has two sides. Yeah, but... Oh, oh, or you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> Your grandma is full of them. <sighs> Boy, I'll say. Oh, I'm sorry you had a bad day. You know, you'll always be my little Cooper hero. Thanks, Graham. Cheer up, Coop. I know you like helping people, so why don't you help me out? When you're ready, I have a couple of things that only a superhero like yourself could do. Sure, Grandma. I'll talk to you soon. Free time at last. Now I can look, touch, and talk to all my cool stuff. Well, until I'm ready to go help out Grandma with whatever she needs, that is. It's a pen. Perfect for forging signatures. Hey there, 
there, Coop. I completed my senior power workout routine. Uh, great. Long as I don't have to hear you having loud sex in the house again. My, uh, hearing aid ran out of batteries. I thought I was being quiet last time. I'm gonna go now. Hold on, mister. Your grandmother needs some help before you go. You need help? I hope it's not what I think it is. Excuse me? I told you already, Grandma. I'm done helping you cheat at bingo. Coop, it's not about that. We took a lot of prizes from a lot of innocent people, Grandma. I told you I was out of the game, and I'm staying out. The only people we hurt were the fat cats at Big Bingo, damn it! Anyway, that isn't what I need help with. I have some chores for you. Oh, sorry. Although, I hear they're giving out iPads now. I'll split the profits 60-40 your way. I said no, Grandma. Fine! Wimp. How can I help, Grandma? There's something wrong with the printer. I pressed print over and over, but I can't seem to get it to work. It's probably just out of ink. I'll take a look at it for you. There's my little superhero! Come find me when you get it working, as I'll need your help with one more thing. Aw, oh, come on! Two chores? What about my active social life? Come on, Coop. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. Fair enough. I'd better get started. Thanks, honey. By the way, Bernie's coming by at 9 tonight, so don't come around unless you're into hearing your grandmother reach a new plane of sexual nirvana. One second. My brain is repressing this conversation from my memory. And blocked out. What do you need, Grandma? Fix the printer. Got it. Thanks for helping, my little pile of coop. I gotta run. Talk to you later. Grandma's moved up from her old dot matrix printer. It has plenty of paper, and the ink cartridges look fine. I wonder what's wrong with it. Fruity rolls are delicious and useful. problems yet, but I am carrying around a lot of shame. Well, at least I can use this to reach stuff in high places since I'm such a tiny turd. That didn't work, but if I try it 130 more times it might. Damn it! I'm too short to reach the string. I gotta find something to hook it with if I'm ever gonna get up into the attic. Look at me, opening the attic door. I'm a big boy now. Warning! These fireworks release an absurd amount of smoke. Fireworks may cause mild entertainment and or cancer. For outdoor use only. Suitable for ages 7 and under. Discard after October 1956. Jeez! These sound fun. You have failed to find a prom date. I can't believe that worked. Well, it's a temporary fix till the rats find it. Eh, good enough. I'll go tell Grandma the good news.
got your printer working, Grandma. Atta boy! Now for my gardening problem. You need me to water your flowers? It's swarming with wasps. I need you to get rid of their nest on the roof. Wasps? Why me? I can't climb to the attic anymore. These old legs just aren't what they used to be. Okay, but shouldn't we get an exterminator for this? Wasps are above my pay grade. Coop, you're growing up so fast. It won't be long until my little man graduates and leaves this old home forever. You'll be moving and shaking as your own man out there, and I'll finally have this place all to myself. Well, me and Bernie, that is. We'll be testing if these old walls can stand up to my uninhibited, quivering, earth-shattering orgasm. Wasps. We're talking about wasps here, Grandma. But until then, I don't need an exterminator since you're such a good little helper. How am I even supposed to reach the nest? You should be able to reach the nest from the window in the attic. The attic again? I hate going up there. You know how I feel about spiders and wasps and attics. I guess it's wasp time. It was nice knowing you. Thanks, dearie. Let me know when you've killed the bastards. The label reads, Oven Mitts, for protecting your little bitch hands. Who writes these things? Cool, a book of matches. Now all I gotta do is find something to light on fire. Preferably not the house. Didn't work, but if I try it 130 more times, it might. Yes! Breathe in the smoke, my waspy little friends! Sleep! Sleep forever! Wow, I could be a supervillain. to the neighbor. I hope you kept that thumb of yours green, because your garden is now 100% wasp free. That's wonderful news! Time to prep and plant some petunia pals! Great! So I'm free to obsessively look, touch, and talk at the rest of the town now? You sure are! Right after you deliver these photos I printed. Aw, oh, man. Okay, fine. Thanks, Cooper. Just stop by the Golden Hayes Retirement Home and leave them with Bernie for... personal use. Personal use? Gross. Bernie's easy to spot. Just look for a ravenous sexual stallion and a bulge you can't take your eyes off of! Say no more, Grandma. For the love of God, say no more. Mwah! Have a good day, dearie. Okay, 
guess I gotta head over to the Golden Haze Retirement Home now. It's the second saddest place in town. The first being my heart. you are, but you named your dog Legolas. No wonder he ran away. Excuse me. Just trying to get past. Halt! Citizen! Please remain at least three feet away from me while you give me your spare change. Otherwise, I am legally obligated to inform you I will bite. P.S. Got any spare change? I'm really just looking to get by. How about five bucks? I'll contour into any shape you want for the minimum donation of five U.S. dollars. Sorry, I stopped carrying cash after I was mugged for 12 years straight by the bullies at my school. You're kind of a bummer, aren't you, kid? Can you just let me buy, please? Come on, kid. Help me out here. How about a dollar? Some change? You gotta have a few quarters rattling around in that backpack of yours. I wish, but nope. Then allow me to contort my hand thusly. You're flipping me off, but I still don't have any money. All right, fine. Sorry. It's just been hard living out here with nowhere to call my own. Eh, I'm used to it. I get flipped off a lot by this bully, Kent. And teachers. And babies. Yeesh. So, you'll let me buy? Absolutely. Oh, good. After a small donation. Damn it! Take it easy, Stretch. Come back when you actually have something to offer me. I brought this for you. Oh, I appreciate it, but I don't eat gluten. Trying to keep my girlish figure for bikini season. It's empty. I thought maybe you could, like, use it as shelter? Oh, hell, thanks, kid. I'll try it on right now. Wow, it's a lot roomier from the inside. And these grease stains have kind of an Art Deco vibe. Ha, a little clean it up, and it'll be good as new. Thanks, I'll take it. You may proceed, citizen. I just helped a homeless man find some garbage to sleep in. I'm a hero. Okay, that was strange. Well, onward to something more normal. Delivering erotic photos of my grandma to some old dude in a retirement home. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can I get by? I'm almost there, young man. Uh... Here goes nothing! Ugh! Gross! I hate prunes! I'm already regretting this. Alright, I gotta go deliver some prune swirls to these diaper-wearing fucks, so I'll catch you later. Prune swirl sludge. Gross. I gotta wash this crap off somehow. It's locked. Guess I'll just have to exit through the front door like a simpleton. So clean you can eat off me. Now to deliver these photos and get out of here before they make me a lifelong resident. Hi, 
Um, Mr. Bernie? Huh? What? Who let you in here? What do you want, Pipsqueak? My grandma wanted me to, um, deliver these, uh, photos to you. Hot damn, it's about time! What took you so long? Well, first I had to knock down a wasp's net. I don't give a shit! I'm running unlimited time here! So for all future deliveries, make sure to put a rush on them before my dick falls off! Is there anything you want me to tell Grandma? Tell my little honey bucket I can't wait for her to do that thing she does to me when she removes her dentures. Mm. Ugh, that's just too much. Oh, and tell her I talked to Gertrude, and she's game for that three-way. <gasps> can't you just write her a note so I don't have to tell her these things? Fuck no, I've got some salacious snapshots to spank my shaft to. I can't be wasting my time writing letters to her. You can bring her one thing, though. Head over to the main commons area and find Monty. Can't miss him. He's the one who's always sleeping. Rifle through his pockets till you find them virility pills that he uses on all of his mistresses. And bring the bottle to your grandma. She'll know what to do with them. <laughs> this sounds like something a kid my age really shouldn't be involved with. I agree. And the sooner you finish doing it, the sooner you can move on with your sad excuse for our life. So hop to it! Please don't wake up, old man. I'm just borrowing your drugs. Huh? Huh? What the hell do you think you're doing, lip dick? I I'm just getting these pills for my... Looks like we got ourselves a burglar. No, wait! You don't understand! I... Get him! Thief! Vandal! Wait! Hold on! I, I, I didn't... I, I can explain! Freeze! <laughs> don't move! Get on the ground! Put your hands up! Hands behind your head, now! Now put your legs behind your head! Now roll around a little bit! I said, don't move! Stop resisting! <laughs> Ow! Damn, this stuff is spicy. Well, another by the book arrest. Can we just take him downtown and brutally beat him within the confines of the law? Not today, I'm afraid. Turns out this perp is a miner. A miner? Ew, I can't believe I touched it. So what you're saying is this will go on his... His permanent record. Oh, damn! Even better! Goodness me, what's going on? Well, I'm afraid your grandson got into a bit of trouble down at the retirement home. Don't worry, though. The long arm of the law gave him a long spanking. <gasps> oh, my! My coop? Oh, I hope he wasn't too much trouble, officers. No trouble at all, ma'am. Not after we showed up. It's too bad we don't get perps this tiny more often. They're a lot of fun to take down. Better keep an eye on this one. Well, thank you for bringing him back, officers. I'll take the punishment over from here. Will you be needing this? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm sure I've got a bedpan or two that could use some cleaning. Ew, yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here before this gets ugly. I've already gone through trauma therapy twice. Have a good night, officers. <laughs> what the fuck, man? You're bringing the fuzz to my doorstep? What do I always say? Those pigs want to snatch my crops. Me? If it wasn't for your weird, horny chore and violent boyfriend, I wouldn't have been there in the first place. I didn't raise no narc! You're an adult now, Cooper! Not legally. You can be tried as one, and that would really harsh my mellow. Just tuck your stupid puberty hormones back in your pants before you end up behind bars! This is unacceptable, Cooper! You need to be punished! What? Why? What would the neighbors think if I didn't set an example and knock your trick ass down a peg? Let me spank you by the window so they can see! What punishment could be worse than being tormented every waking moment at school, all while living with my horny, strung-out grandma? 
<gasps> Cooper! Those hormones must be out of control! You've never spoken to me like this before! Well, Mr. Big Pants, how about no field trip tomorrow? How do you like them rutabagas? No, I hate them rutabagas. You can't do this. Too bad, Buster. I gotta keep my hose on a leash. God damn it. You don't care about what I'm going through. Coop, I... No, you treat me more like an errand boy than a grandson. You say I'm going through a phase? What about your creepy golden year sexual renaissance, huh? You only care about yourself. But... You don't care about me, Grandma. Grandmas just don't understand. I'm a complicated, unique teen going through unique problems that nobody could possibly understand. Coop, I had no idea. You don't want me. Nobody wants me. Not as a friend, not as a prom date, not as a grandson. I'll always be remembered as the freak no one wants. I wish I died in the car crash with my parents instead of being raised by you. I suppose you know best. Yeah, and as soon as I graduate, I'm running away forever. So you won't have to deal with my hormones. Then I won't have to give a damn about what happens to this suck-ass town. Or you. Oh. Why do I keep acting out? Why do I only make things worse? What the hell is wrong with me? Maybe Ken is right. Maybe I am a stupid dick-lipped loser. Psionic Steve, I'll bet you never got yelled at by your grandma. I mean, if your grandma wasn't eaten alive in your tragic backstory, that is. No, you always do the exact right thing. How do you do it? I wish you were here to show me. You'd stand up to my bullies, not run from them. You'd help the elderly, not steal their sex pills. You'd have a prom date and be a somebody, not a lonely nobody. And if you were here, you'd show me how to be the hero of the story, and not a worthless freak. But you're not here. You're not even real. And I am all alone. I guess I'll go to sleep and try to forget about this suck-ass day. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally stand up for myself, get a prom date, and be somebody worth remembering. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Hopefully better than all of my yesterdays. Good night, Steve. on the friend zone phone. Seahorse to sawhorse, come in. Don't forget to use proper CB lingo. Over. I'm over the radio lingo. Can you not be weird for like two seconds? This is important. Roger that, reading you loud and clear. Over. Whatever. Anyway, have you been outside? Ken and his butthole patrol have been gunning for you all morning. They've like got some big end of school prank to pull on you or something. Might have to do with your butthole? Ugh. Over. Get Zooks! I can't skip school today! How the hell are my butthole and I supposed to avoid them? Today's a big field trip to the bomb shelter. You coming? I mean, I know they won't be going on the trip because Kent and his pals think that school buses are the chariots of the poor. Jesus! How do you know all of this? Over. I have dirt on everyone in this town, Coop. By the way, your hamster's dead. Oh no, he's just a sleepy little boy, aren't ya? Yes, you are. Over. Get over here, Duder. If you can make it to the school, at least you'll be safe today. But there's no way Grandma will sign my permission slip after my very recent felony arrest. Yeah, I heard. Didn't take you as the type of guy to grope senior citizens. You're pretty thirsty for a prom date, aren't ya? What? No, it wasn't my fault. Look, I'll tell you about it later. <sighs> Any good ways to get past Kent and his shithead lackeys? You're on your own there, bud. I can't fight all your fights for you. Just watch out for them. They've been on a stakeout on Knothole Street, near the school entrance. If you can get around them, you're good as gold. Just do me a favor and try not to end up like your hamster, okay? Fat chance. I'm not even tired. All right. Well, I'll see you on the bus. Over and out, Duder. Wait, before you go... Can you make it quick? These covert government conspiracies aren't going to uncover themselves. I was wondering, w will you really be my prom date? 
If you help me find out what shady secrets our town has, everyone's gonna owe you one. So... Yes, if you help me out, I'll be your prom date. Plus, we all know prom is just a vapid social construct made to subjugate the masses into competing in pageantry for a plastic crown that is neither with glory nor power. <laughs> yeah, totally. Prom sucks. Besides, imagine the look on Ken's face when he sees me walking into prom with someone like you. <laughs> right. It'll be hilarious. All right. Get out there and try not to be killed to death. Good luck. Okay, love you. I mean, seahorse over and out. Hopefully not forever. Shit! If Grandma doesn't sign my permission slip, Ken and his gang are gonna curb stomp me. Or worse. There's gotta be a way to forge your signature. A memorial for where my hamster used to live. These are sacred grounds. Do I push your buttons? Call me. Yes! Okay, if I can get this slip to school without Ken and his gang finding me, I can avoid a beating and possibly live to see tomorrow. That check already served its purpose for me. Best of luck with your future endeavors, Mr. Check. on me how the hell am i gonna get back to school when they're blocking the way god damn it porn for the blind wait isn't looking at porn what makes you go blind i'm so confused Flypaper causes autism, so I'm just gonna take it away for you. Good work! I'm not not vaccinated for nothing! This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Sometimes there's so much beauty in the world, I, I feel like I can't take it, but I want to take it. I, I need it, even if it means caging this beautiful bird. <laughs> I'm not tall enough to catch that bag. I need something sticky to catch it with. I'm so sorry I had to capture you, you beautiful floating plastic bag, you. Someday I'll return you to the wild so you can dance freely once again. Look, there he is! Oh no! He's using ingenuity! That's right, jerks! Up here I'm untouchable, and there's nothing you can do about- oh, got him! We're coming to kick your ass, you little queef! Shit, 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 shit! Ah, time for my favorite part. 
What delightful little joke do you have for me this time, Mr. Popsicle Stick? Why is the Cyclops such an effective teacher? Hmm, well, I can only assume it's his passion for education, but let's see. Because he only has one pupil! <laughs> it's the eye! It's the one eye! Cause he's a Cyclops! <laughs> Did you get it? He's over there, next to the Cyclops. Aw, the joke's funnier when it's not about you. Ah! Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're dead, you fucking reject. <sighs> okay, I should be safe in here. <sighs> in this terrifying laboratory. still see me? I hope you can see how bad I feel about this. Uh, I meant to do that. That's only gonna keep them out for so long. I better find another way out of here. How can erasers get me out of this mess? Think, Coop. Think! Super spy, dodging laser beams. Okay, back to trying not to die. A Canadian vial containing a secret formula? Or something to pour on waffles? Only time will tell. Okay, that's the most ominous thing I've ever seen. Jesus! W -w what the hell is all of this? There's nowhere for you to run and hide now, Coop! We've got you now, bitch nips! We're gonna make you eat your own face! Wait, how's that even possible? Shut up, tits for balls! You are so dead! Uh, guys, I think you're taking this bullying thing a little too far. Come on, get him! Fuck him up, cut!